So, after Bishop Maponga, there is another bishop or another pastor by the name of Pastor Mazibuko who has found himself on the string of saying heresy. Heresy. I don't even know how to pronounce it properly without cringing at the thought that someone sat down and thought this was right. It's the reality show we did it daily Christian commentary videos and I'm going to play that video right now and we're gonna we're gonna go down the rabbit hole where Pastor Mazibuko was going down okay now he's very popular he tends to trend online and stuff he has videos and stuff and so what is this heresy of which I'm talking it's this video right here this is what he said I'm gonna play it and then I will, so this video is about 2 minutes, 20 seconds long. Then I'll do the breakdown of why this stuff he's saying here is a heresy of the highest level. We'll break it down one point at a time, as I mentioned. If it's the first time over here, other episodes down on the channel, down in the pinned comments, so check them out over there. All right, paste. I'm not one of those who read the Bible with colorful eyes. Okay. There are wars in the Bible. Some commanded by God, some supported by God. I can fundamentally tell you here and now, um, I disagree with that. He should have used other methods. The cost of human life is not worthy even if a God commands it. We are not... A a God. I'm sorry. I was going to play it, but I can't, man. <laughs> I can't. He's just saying too much. You are doing too much. Come on, man. Don't guess yourself. Don't guess yourself. Like he's guessing himself up right now. If you think this is right, <laughs> there's a verse in Psalms. The Bible says, the Lord laughs. <laughs> when you think you, you, you've got something, the Lord laughs. Don't guess yourself. You will never be more smarter than God. I was, was going to let him play, but you, you, okay, Pastor. Continue, we'll do the breakdown after. A toy, we are living. We do not deserve to die, whether a God does. <laughs> we don't deserve. <laughs> the Bible says, even our best righteousness is as filthy rags. We were well deserving. That's why we call it unmerited favor. We were well deserving of hell. We were well deserving of death. Remember, of the day you eat of it, you shall surely die. You had already started the process. The day you died was as a result of we do not deserve. We'll come back to that. All right. Does it or a superpower does it? Our death is real. And we should not go down without a protest. It's okay for your faith. I get it. You are now silent. You are afraid. No, they're not afraid, fam. What are you talking about? Jeez. To make people... Uh, I haven't listened to the whole... <laughs> okay, so they must... Yeah, you are quiet because you are afraid. No, they are quiet because they are wondering, what are you doing? You're sounding weird right now. You... Do you even believe? Are you an atheist, bruv? Or you better go Maponga on us? What, what are you doing? It's not fear because they don't want to question. No, it's like, what's going on? How do you think wickedness of God? That's what they are thinking. Now, for him to say, oh, no, no, you guys, because you are Christians, you are afraid of no, you sound weird thinking that. We'll come back. What? 
I have lodged my case with, with God. I have told him, I disagree. You are a God. We are human. You had options to solve the problem without killing us. Yeah, options. We cannot die when you have power to do otherwise. And I've lodged my case and I demand a hearing. Jesus Christ. You demand what? So you want to say that again, man? Them? You, you lodged my case uh -huh. and I demand a hearing when Jesus comes. <laughs> oh, you will get. It. Oh, you will get it. Oh, you, you want, you. Oh, okay. Oh, you want to speak. Oh, okay. When Jesus. Oh, okay. I rebuke bad things from my ear. Hey, I rebuke. <laughs> I rebuke what my ears have heard. You demand. You de he demands God to come for a hearing. Uzo shale CCMA with HR. Busu buzwa. What? So, so you want? Oh, oh okay. <laughs> oh, you 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 play you played yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's a DJ Khaled line. You played yourself. You will never be smarter than God. Don't think it. What? You demand. Okay, guys, I haven't watched the video. So, okay, let me, I'm going to try and go through this. Jesus Christ. Oh, you're going to get it. <laughs> God, continue. I want to know why were we collateral when God had options. What options, Mandam? What options? Oh, so you say, oh no, God, you could have done it another way. What is that? You see, God gave man free will. When they decide otherwise, he judge. That's why he, he is the judge. Period. You don't get to tell the judge how to conduct himself after the act has been done. You do something, he judges. So when Jesus comes, you got questions? Oh, okay. Don't worry, you'll get your hearing. <laughs> who thinks that they are making that decision. If you bring me in this world, I did not apply to be here. Stand up and take care of me. Show up for me. I didn't put you in a corner and say I must be born. I'm here by your will. Show up on my behalf. Like I said, I understand where you are. So, don't worry. What's going on at seven day? What y'all doing over there? You, you like, if you had my ponga, now you, <laughs> what are y'all doing over there? This is weird. Now, that verse that I spoke about in Psalms, Psalms 30, it's in Psalms uh, 30, 37. And it says, in its context, the wicked plot. The wicked plot. Now remember, the term wicked can be referred to a, to a servant. No? You see that in the parables. You know, the, the parable, the kingdom of God is like, and then he says, a wicked servant. So you can be a servant, but be wicked. No? The thinking he has here, it's wicked. You see, you are thinking 
you can question God's moral position for allowing war in order to get your, your political case across so that you can find justice. That's what you want. Say, we were well deserving of judgment. I don't tell the judge how to think. No, I don't. I concur. <laughs> He's right. The quicker you get with the program, that's that. Because then, after you open that door of saying, no, God was wrong on that, how far are you willing to go? Do people deserve to be in hell? Do, do they deserve to be in hell? Because what about those who are unbelievers? That's where universalism comes through. Universalism is humans thinking they can be smarter than God. Sugalapo. It's canal. Don't. You can never outsmart God. You can't. But anyways, he says he's lodged this case. He demands an answer. I will not be there on that line. And he co-apo. I concur. He's right. Yes, what he decided to do, he is right. Me, I deserved judging. Me. I don't know about you. I deserved, that's why we call it unmerited favor. I deserved it. Why? Because the, even our best righteousness is just filthy rags. So if that's the case, by what right statement, statement is what he's saying? Thinking. I'll let it finish, then we'll go back and do a breakdown. Right. You are now thinking your name will be removed in the book of life if you agree. It's okay. If I go to hell for such questions, but I do believe that humanity must not be ignorant when others are suffering. Yeah, the suffering on the earth is because man sinned. We live in a sinful world, a dying world. The... the the ills in the earth are not because God. God created a perfect planet. We were the ones that started the evil. By questioning his de definition of right and wrong. On the day you eat of that tree, you shall become like a, knowing good and evil. So the idea of knowing good and evil is that man wanted to Man comes to a position where he tries to redefine evil. That's what you doing. You see, you've just proved the point. There are questions you might ask about it, but I don't have a question on God. I'm not lodging a demand. No, I don't. If it's a question you ask other theologians, they'll give you an answer. But your question... Is heresy. Yes. That question is heresy. So if you were sitting in that church and he was saying that and you were like, I don't know about that. You are right. He's thinking wrong. Period. Period. I Agna G, Agna left, Agna right. This is heresy. So you see that verse. The, the wicked plot, so you are plotting, you're going to get people on your side to lodge a complaint so that God can come and explain to him, to you. <laughs> Read Job, you will see. Your answer is already in Job. Job thought he could come and ask, why did bad things happen to me? Why did... Uh, the question that God and the, the question that God asked Job, Job, are you smarter than me? Were you there when I fashioned the heavens? I don't owe you a single answer. Period. Get it clear. That's theology. Yes, it helps to think theological. <laughs> God doesn't owe me an explanation. He has lodged a demand and we can't be ignorant. He says, no, I, I refuse to be, you know, I was saying something that the pastor said yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> the pastor said something that says, he says I choose to be a fool for God I'm ignorant for God yeah I don't have those questions if you have those questions you can go ahead I'm a, when it comes to him I'm ignorant 
when it comes to God, no, I'm very ignorant. You can be smart. I not join you. That's exactly what Satan did. Thought you were smarter than God. No, my life is eh, past day. Now, in the beginning, he said something. <clears throat> I wanted to come, come back to it here. That he said that theologically, it shows that I, you are thinking wrong. I'm not one of those who read the Bible with colorful eyes. Okay. There are wars in the Bible. Some commanded by God, some supported by God. I can fundamentally tell you here and now, I disagree with that. Okay. So on that thought that he just had then, he fundamentally, this is the core of this. He's very convinced he's right. He's very convinced he's right. He fundamentally disagrees with God commissioning a war. Okay, what's your thinking around? He should have used other methods. <laughs> that implies you have a better method. Or you know how God should have dealt with it differently. Let me finish that verse. Psalm 37, verse 18 to 22. The, the, the wicked plot against the right, catch their teeth, but the Lord laughs at the wicked from heaven. He knows their day is coming. Don't worry, your day will come as well. Don't be smarter than God. Or don't think you are smarter than God. You, you, he, there are other better ways. Also, you have a better way. You, you want to tell him. Uh, oh, do you also disagree with Jesus dying? Oh, maybe there was a better way. Ne? Okay. But you see, it's a, it's a line of thinking. You are thinking wrong. The thinking is wrong. The cost of human life is not worthy even if a God commands it. Even if a God commands it. So you've reduced God to this other small energy God. Even if a God. Mm, okay. We are not a toy. We are living. And God, the Bible says God breathed into man. So you are trying, to, you are telling God what you are not and what you are. You think you have a better definition of what he created. Come on, man. Don't guess yourself. We do not deserve to die. Uh, we deserve it. <laughs> And I'm not saying we deserve war. Uh -uh. I'm saying when we die, it's what happens after the fall. We live in a world where death is... To say what we deserve and what we don't deserve, that idea, it's, it's foreign in a fallen world. Now to blame that on God, you're going to tell God, oh, okay. Whether a god does it or a superpower does it, our death is real. Politics. And we should not go down without a protest. To who? Who are you going to protest to? We should not. This sounds very Satan-like. Do you get me? Yes. No, if a person is thinking Satan-like, we must say. <laughs> Yes, that's Satan like thinking. You're thinking wrong. That's what, that's what happens when Peter started saying what he said, and Jesus turned around and says, Get thee behind me, Satan. It's, it's exactly what's happening right now. What I'm saying, I'm not verifying him. What you're thinking is Satan like. We should not. So you are, you are gathering an audience that agrees with this thinking here. Huh? Our death is real. And we should not. And we should not go down without a protest. So we should not. That's why I say it sounds Satan-like. When Satan was busy recruiting people to agree with him. You're you sounding dodgy, man. Them. Continue. It's okay. For your faith, I get it. You are now silent. You are afraid. I have lodged my case with God. I have told him. 
cases. He's lodged his cases. He doesn't have one. He has many. He's lodged his cases. What's going on at SDA theology that pastors are just having issues with the Bible? <laughs> huh? If you're wrong, you are, you are thinking wrong. You? I disagree. You are a God. We are human. You had options to solve the problem without killing us. Okay. Don't worry. You, he says, <laughs> wait, there's a, there's a part that he says next. We cannot die when you have power to do otherwise. And I've lodged my case okay. and I demand a hearing when Jesus comes. No problem. No problem. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm so... Don't worry. You'll get your, you'll get your hearing. <laughs> you will... Ah, no, 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 no. I can assure you that you will definitely get your hearing. But that hearing will not be what you think. That I'm just beyond. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just being honest. I'm just telling you what to expect. <laughs> Don't cross over without knowing what to expect. You see, you will get your day in court. You will get your complaint answered, but it's not what you think. The idea that a person comes up and they're thinking a certain line of thinking and it's, it's almost like a higher moral ground for God. Leave that one. That's so unbiblical it's childish yeah it's like if you've really read the bible like really get the character of god and really get who god is hmm, i know it's just like it's like that it's like that um, you will you will definitely get your court date but it will not be what you think you will never outsmart god never 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 was it Barcelona, there is a limit to how to, to how far we can use our brains. <clears throat> to wake up and think you have a better answer than God. Yeah, no, there was a better way. You telling God that? Oh no, my our lives <clears throat> are worth more. We are so you're telling the one who created I'm worth more? You think he doesn't know that? Like, do you get me? It's like, so don't worry, you will get your court date. You'll you will get your, your time to debate. How God was wrong. You don't agree with him and stuff like that. Like the verses, you know. Debating with your maker. It, it's quite an interesting thing. You know, that verse, that Isaiah 45 verse that I was talking about. It says it clear then. War unto those who quarrel with their maker. Yeah. If you are out there thinking you have a quarrel with God. And you, you want to, oh, okay. you want to, you want a hearing. You want a day of hearing. So that. You can clarify how God is wrong. <laughs> it will not be what you think. He says, my ways are, his ways are too high for human thinking. God doesn't owe me a, an answer. There are people who have loved ones who pass and what, and they think, why, God, why? And then they, they want answers. And in that, they become atheists and whatnot and stuff like that. The idea of human hurt causing people to Disagree with, yeah, but you're still not thinking better than God. It just doesn't work like that. It's not like that. To think you're smarter than, yeah, that's what he's thinking. He's thinking he's smarter than God. Without saying, because he's saying there were better ways. So you do have smarter ideas than God. Dude. <laughs> the Bible says by, by God's wisdom, he fashioned the world. And it has remained thinking. And in his wisdom, you think you have a better method? You don't guess yourself, guys. Don't guess yourself. Yeah, you know, when we talk about him, yeah, it's a diff it's a different level. There, there. It's a different yo. So he mustn't worry. I'm just I'm assuring him from heaven's gates. I can assure you you will get your court date. You will get to argue a statement, but it will not be what you think. Learn from Job. Now you think, you think, don't think too much political. You know, that's political thinking. What he's doing there, that's political thinking. Yeah, no, no. They're thinking like a politician. <laughs> and so, leave that one. The Bible says, and the Lord looks. 
and he laughs. It's human thinking. It's like it's just so, you know. But if you if you're satisfied with your question, uh, yeah, no, you can stay there. Don't worry, you will definitely get your your cut date. It will just not be what you think. It's the reality show. We do daily Christian commentary videos. Yeah, no. When it comes to God, there are specifics that once you start thinking a certain way, it it says a lot. He has cases that he has lodged. <laughs> cases. Zingai. What other issues do you want to tell us? You're about to become an unbeliever. You're about to question the validity of the Bible. You're about to... What are the other ones that you have issues with? It's Ricky, and I'll see you on the video.